Hey guys, it's Sakai Twin, and in today's video, I'm gonna be kind of unboxing um, some of the items that um, my really good friend from Japan sent me, as well as another good friend of ours as well. Um, we actually went to a Japanese university while we were seeing in Japan for about four months. We were there for about like, a semester, and we made a lot of Japanese friends, and I'm still in touch with a lot of them. Um, so I ended up messaging her. I sent her some items from the US because I am American. I'm gonna show you guys a footage that I um, did maybe about a month ago of the items that I sent her. I sent her some items before she sent me um so yeah i'm gonna go back into the past so you guys can see some of the items that i gave one for my friend miyabi so this is her um the card that i made for her if you are american you probably have already heard these the girl deli um chocolates yeah, honestly, one of my favorites. Um, and I added like these cute little stickers um, on my own. So they weren't actually stickers, they were like part of this little notebook that I got. I ended up cutting them out along with my twin sister. We were working on these for a while. And we, um, I added tape and I kind of just taped them onto here. So these are the little goodies right here. And then, and I made some more with this sort of little goodie bags that I got from Daiso, which I think are super adorable. I got some Ghirardelli chocolate and as well as some um, like Hershey Kisses chocolates as well. So let's go on to the bigger items. So um, I got these Lucky Charms. Um, and we got the Caramel Chocolate um, Ghirardelli. Um, I hope she likes them. So I found this really, really cute um, keychain from San Francisco when I was um, going to Japantown to celebrate my birthday with my sister. And I thought it was really, really cute. So the next item um, are these Sakin little bottles. So if you guys don't know, I'm actually Mexican-American. So I wanted to bring something that was so cultural to me, um, not just like American. And these are Skittles and Sour Patch Kids. I know they are kind of popular in the US. These are some popular like candies that um, Americans tend to eat. Um, I absolutely love them. I love Sour Patch Kids. Um, and then I also kind of wrapped these together. So it's a packet of um, Oreo cookies. And then like the golden Oreo cookie. You guys can see a lot of the items that I gave her are very American as well as something that's culturally um, relatable to me because I am Mexican American. If you guys don't know, both my twin sister and I are Mexican American. Um, so we wanted to give her a little bit of something that represented our culture as well, not just us being American, um, as well as some great deli chocolate that um, is honestly one of our favorite chocolate brands. My mom absolutely loves them. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'm gonna start off with the snacks and then go on with the other items. Another friend of mine also gave us um, some other items for our birthday which were like actually really cute lipsticks that were Sailor Moon inspired you guys can see that later um, but yeah it was really really awesome I want to show you guys all the different cute stuff so yeah let's get right to it so I'm gonna show you guys the snacks in no particular order I'm just gonna be showing them to you guys as I go so yeah let's go with the first item so here is a little cute bag um, it has Hello Kitty on it I think they're little cookies um, it's by the company Country Ma'am um, and they are I think they're just cookies um, and the packaging is so adorable. I absolutely love Hello Kitty. So when I saw these, I thought they were adorable. Um, they are mini, mini packets inside, um, but they're so adorable. And I love anything that's just pink. So I'm sure you're gonna love these. Another bigger package is kind of like little panda cookies. And they, it seems like it's like a white chocolate and a, a milk chocolate kind of cookies. Or I don't know, they're just chocolates. Um, I think they're in like miniature little bags, which I think is really, really cute. Um, so I can't wait to share these with my family. The next are these, um, this kind of bag that looks like it's kind of Halloween inspired. Um, and it has, they're kind of like miniature little bread cookies or something. I'm not sure what it is. It's by the brand Fujiya Home Pie. Um, I think I've heard of these before when I was in Japan. I'm not too sure if I really looked at it, but I thought this was really cool because I know that in Japan during the seasons, um, there's a bunch of themed food inspired by like the holidays and stuff like that and they get a little bit more creative, I feel, than in the US. So um, I thought that's really cute to try some of these Halloween snacks. So the next bag showcases these miniature little cookies that have chocolate inside. Um, I think I've seen some of these before here in the US. They're in a smaller container, um, but it was really cute to see these in bigger packagings. Um, in the back, there's this sort of little game that you can do, which I think is really, really cute. Um, and yeah, the color scheme is all green. Um, I think the brand is Lo Lotte, Lotte. I think it's a Korean brand, to be honest. I think I've heard it's like, Kind of like the other brands that, like Meiji. I'm not sure, but I've heard this is a Korean brand. I'm not too sure, but um, anyway, I think this is really cute, and I know I'm gonna love these because I've tried them before. So next are these little bags of, I would say they're kind of like Cheez-Its, um, and they're in individual little baggies, um, and they have like different shapes of different animals. I think this is adorable. Um, I'm really excited to try this. So there's some a mixture of savory and sweet um, snacks, which I thought that was really cool. I've never tried these before, so, um, I'm really excited to try them out. Another bag is this kind of blue bag with these miniature little um, bites. 
of, um, I think it's like vanilla inside, like some sort of vanilla cream inside and in a kind of a wafer cookie thing. Um, I might be wrong, but um, I haven't opened these yet, so I, I think they might be in like miniature packages, but um, it looks really good. This is one sack that I have not tried yet. I don't think I would know what it tastes like. So I'm really um, curious to see how this one would taste, but um, yeah, a lot of big packages. Then we have these chocolates. They are the Melty Kiss by the brand Meiji. I've heard of the brand Meiji before. Um, I think I've tried these chocolates before, except not these other flavors. I've only really tried the strawberry flavor. Um, my twin sister Karina absolutely loved these chocolates, so she was really excited as soon as she saw these. But um, yeah, I really like these as well, and um, the flavor is really, really good. I think the chocolate is sort of like a dark chocolate taste to it. Um, and then inside is this nice, really creamy filling, whether it's strawberry, um, chocolate, or um, your green teas. For this last larger packaging is this green tea Kit Kat. Um, I think this is a classic. I mean, if you ever go to Japan, you gotta try this green tea um, Kit Kat. So you can probably purchase them at your um, local Japanese marketplace if you live like in a place like the US. Um, but I think it's always great to get them from Japan. Um, and I'm just really happy that she gave me these. Um, I absolutely love anything with matcha or green tea. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to, to eat these. And they're in miniature little packages as well. So I think that is great. So now I'm gonna show you guys some more of the savory foods that she gave me. So these are like savory snack. Um, and I think they're kind of like little fries um, or little potato snack things. I don't really know what you would call them. But um, I saw them all over the kombinis in like um, when we were living in Japan, me and my sister. Um, they had this um, mini shop in the school as well as a uh, like a Lawson's or Komini outside um, of the school and they sold these and a lot of people love these so she gave me in different flavors as well. I think this is kind of like maybe the classic. It seems like it's butter flavor. Bata, I think it tastes right there. So I'm going with this butter flavor and this one is um, sarada or salad flavor. Um, so yeah, I mean I'm, I'm, I hope I'm saying that correctly um, but yeah, so these are the little guys. I've never tried these. Like I said, I, I saw them all over Japan, but I've never tried these and I'm really interested and curious to try them out. Next um, are these um, other potato chip things, not potato chips, but like little potato sticks, um, which look really good as well. I don't know what flavor these may be. These might also be like a, the natural flavor. Okay, actually maybe this had a flavor and yeah, this, this is the butter, the other one's the salad flavor, and then this is probably like the classic flavor. So this is larger, I'm curious to try them out. And also I wanted to show you guys, like this is the packaging of the Castella cake that once was a Castella cake because I, I ate it now, but um, I'll show you guys a picture around here or some footage of the Casella cake but yeah it was really really good really fluffy my friend said that this is one of her um, this is a company that she really likes and the Casella cake is um, also one of her favorites so um, I was really really curious to try it out um, and yeah but it was really really good very fluffy um, they sell a bunch of other Casella cakes I think at my local Japanese marketplace but it's always great to get it from Japan she also gave me some of these cookies these are Toko Toko Chapu Okay, I think that's how you say it. I might be wrong, um, but these are like little chocolate uh, cookies. Next that I'm gonna be showing you guys are these little cookies. Um, I believe I saw these at um, the shop in my university in Japan. So this just kind of brings back memories. I, I really like these. I never tried them, but they look really, really good. So I'm really I'm thankful that my friend gave these to me. Um, she also gave me some um, little boxes, kind of like your pop and cooking style um, little boxes to make like little sweets. So here is this one. Um, I think you can make like little ice cream or imitation ice cream here. As well as other pastries. Um, the packaging is pink, so I absolutely love it as soon as I saw it because pink is my favorite color. Um, and in the back, it gives you some instructions. So this is adorable. I've never seen this one before, so um, I'm really excited. It is by the company Pop and Cooking, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to try this out. The next one is these um, little chocolate um, cookies. They're kind of like um, pocky, I think, but like a miniature size, more for like kids, I guess, um, or catered towards them. And you can also make like your own designs up here, which I think is super cute. My little sister is going to love. Um, using these with us so yeah we're definitely gonna spend some time with our sister doing that um, and it is by the brand Meiji so um, I thought this was really cool I love Meiji chocolate and the Meiji brand so I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing um, this is another one that's very similar to the other one um, they are kind of like those miniature little pocky style um, and this is kind of inspired by this ice cream so this is a cookies and cream ice cream when we were in Japan we would go to the Komini and they had a variety of different ice creams um, Meiji does um, also sell ice cream and they have their own brand and um, this honestly 
honestly it brings back memories so these are other kind of do-it-yourself kind of activities with the candy I'm not really sure what kind of candy this is I think my little sister got one of these a long time ago and she just loved it and she as soon as she saw it she's like oh my god I want to try it out with you guys so yeah we're gonna definitely chase it it's really really cute there's one in blue and one in purple so this might be great flavored and this might be like blueberry flavored so I'm really excited to try it out now this is a little guy um, I don't really know what's inside here they might be some sort of um, mitts or something I'm, I'm honestly not sure what it is I'm gonna have to ask my friend what it is but it looks really good it seems like it's some sort of sour candy um, it's, the packaging is blue so maybe the inside candy is gonna be blue as well it's probably like a blue uh, blueberry flavored um, sour candy I'm not too sure but I'm excited to try it out now she also gave me some pocky sticks so this is by the brand um, Lotte Lotte I think I don't know if I'm saying that correctly um, and it's um, got chocolate filled inside which I thought is really really cool um, I love pocky sticks I feel like they're a classic Japanese snack so um, I know I'm gonna love these then she also got me an assortment of different chocolates so let's start with these two um, little guys right here they're I think the same exact thing except they're different types of chocolates so this is a vanilla flavored and this one is a dark chocolate flavored I love dark chocolate so I know I'm gonna love this and um, I've never tried these before to be honest so um, I'm curious to see how they taste I mean it probably tastes like your average chocolate kind of cookie I guess um, but this, this looks really really good I, I can't wait to try it out here's some more chocolates they have a strawberry filling inside which I'm really excited to try and the packaging is adorable guys I'm obsessed with strawberries and strawberry theme and aesthetics and stuff like that so um, I love 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 this packaging I'm dying for this packaging um, I haven't tried these before I don't think I saw them in Japan maybe I didn't look um, but they look really really good so I'm curious to see how they taste and last but not least, let me show you guys all the gummies that I got. She got me a variety of different gummies. So let's start with these sort of grape gummies. So these are a, the green grapes and these are the purple grapes. And they are kind of gummies. Um, I think in the back they show you some sort of idea of what you can do with them. So you can make them some sort of drinks um, and put them inside. Maybe some fizzy drink and yeah, my make it taste better I'm not sure um, I don't really know what it's seeing in the back but um, I'm curious to try them out and I love gummies so I'm sure they're gonna be good these are some more kind of grape inspired um, snack or uh, candy and they're meant to be sour which I'm really excited because I love sour candy and then here are these little guys they are um, by the same company I believe they like look exactly the same except they're different flavors so one they're right here um, so one of them is strawberry the other one is a tangerine or mandarin flavored and then the other one is a peach flavored um, they look really really good I did actually try these um, back in Japan um, and they were really really good um, my sister, as soon as she saw them, she was like, oh my god, give me some because she's obsessed with gummies. So um, I'm excited to try them out. Next thing I want to show you guys is a mini Fukubuku doll that my friend gave me. Um, I think that's how you say it. Um, so Fukubuku doll bags are um, a special thing in Japan that they do, I believe, in the new year or in January. I'm not too sure if it's that or December. One of those months, I'm not sure. Um, and a lot of companies such as, I'm not sure if Riga does this, but um, certain companies in Japan, if you go to Shibuya 109, um, they tend to grab these big bags that are really cute and they um, fill them with um, a bunch of clothing with different sizes, different um, prices. It's just a mixture of different items that um, if you add them up, they're worth more than what you paid for. So it's really, really cool when they do this um, um, around the, the winter period, I think in January, in the new year, I'm not, I'm not too sure about that I have to double check with my friend but um, I thought it was really cool really neat and she said that she gave me a mini Fukubukuro bag with accessories so I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I got so it is a really really cute bag um, it is kind of got some pink in there um, pink flowers um, and it looks very elegant very cute when you open inside is another miniature bag and um, if you look inside here so you have this sort of string that you can kind of hold the bag on your side so I love this because I love like miniature little bags um, I think it's also great for like maybe traveling I could put some sort of accessories in there and then take it with me and it won't be as bulky because I have miniature bags and then um, inside the larger bag there's also these little accessories in the bag there's also this mustard colored kind of headband or headpiece which I think is super super cute as well as this hairpin with a C theme there are some hair pieces like this thing that you can hold your hair with which I really really need because I'm always holding my hair up when I'm doing my makeup and stuff like that so I think that would work perfectly as well as this other hair piece which I think is really really cute and these are two little hair pieces um, this is kind of like a rose gold color and this is a silver color it seems like this whole theme is mainly like very C time the, the style is very American which I think is really really cute um, and I really liked it 
I am extremely grateful to my friends for having sent these items to both my sister and I. Um, some of these items were sent to us for our birthdays, so I'm really, really grateful to these friends. Um, I hope that we get to meet them again, and maybe someday you guys will get to meet them as well um, if we make a video together. So I'm really, really excited about that. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely enjoyed showing you guys all the items that my friends send me. Um, please make sure to check out our Instagram and follow us there. If you guys are following us there, you guys might have seen that I got some of the items. Um, and and I did a little little video of it so you guys could see um, as soon as I received them. So if you guys want to stay more in touch with us as well as maybe um, give you guys some information on some upcoming videos. As well as just to get to know us a lot better. We are very active on Instagram so please check us out on Instagram. And follow us at Kikutago. I might be leaving a link to our Instagram in the description box below so you guys can check it out. I also wanted to take some time to thank all of you guys who have subscribed to us. We finally reached 500 subscribers which we are really really fortunate. I'm so happy to see this family grow and hopefully. Um, one day we'll be able to reach a thousand subscribers um, and just get this family growing um, each year So I'm really really thankful to each one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to us Thank you guys so much for watching um, and remember we post videos every Friday, so please tune in then. Bye guys <laughs>